What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Stains Witch and welcome back to Factory Simulator playthrough episode number 37. Um, at the end of last episode, we bought the mixer in the shop for 30 octillion and our next goal today I guess is the induction smelter. And then also mining silver and lead ore. We gotta go find those first. I think they're on the far island that we haven't been to yet. Um, I also never really checked where I spawned in. Okay, it's close to where I usually spawn in and we're pretty close to the gate. I keep spawning in, like, at that same plot, I feel like, never over here actually by the gate, which would be nice, because I used to spawn in this spot all the time, but it's whatever, can't really choose plots still, or can't choose plots in general, but maybe someday that will change, um, so, yeah, like I said, just to double check real quick, our goal is 45 octillion, um, we are making a lot more passive income, as you can see now, like, a lot, a lot more, <laughs> um, so, uh, depending on how long this takes to go get the silver and the lead, um, you know, we could have that money by the time we get back. Um, like I said, I assume the silver and the lead is on the far side of this island. I might up my view distance here, but I don't think it's super required. I might do it just so you can, I don't know, see more. Yeah, this island over here. This is also, it looks like the largest island. Um, so yeah, no for sure this is Ambernite, that is Diablum, I think it's just Diablum, I don't think there's anything else. This one is Sanctium, and then this island. Also, I noticed that in the distance last video, I didn't really do any investigation into what it is. Um, so yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll figure out in the future why there's just some huge monolith out there in the distance. But yeah, cruising in the boat, let's go first person. Uh, nice boat that has a bunch of scratches in it for some reason. Um, it's forcing me to look forward to, which is kind of funny. If I do shift lock, nope. That definitely looks like silver though. I can see a little blue shimmer, which is newer. Or something I haven't seen before, so that's new. And then, hmm. This is most likely going to be, is it both? Oh, it is. It's just a combination of both. Interesting. So, um, hmm. I wonder what the move is as far as just filling up a box of each, kind of, and then coming back. Because it's only it's only fifty, probably because of the distance away. And so it's not much required. I can't remember if the Saint Team Diablo were also fifty. If they were hundred, I think they were. I think they're 50, yeah, they're 50. Or actually, have I even had quests for those? I don't think I have, if I remember correctly. Cause I feel like I would have a Saintium or mine if I, that would've been a quest. But yeah. Okay, I can pull, pick, still pick up some silver. Okay, I guess we're gonna head back. Cause Honestly, this boat ride didn't even take that long. It took like two minutes, so I can just keep coming back. And I'll take, what, like three trips total to get there. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, um, one thing I want to talk about while we're driving back is a huge, huge, huge thanks for all the support on episode number 35. It just hit over a thousand views, I think, this morning when I woke up. And we're also at 75 subscribers. So thank you all very much for all the support. Um, it's actually insane, you know, how much the channel has grown just in the past, like, month. I started this series the 26th of May, so about a month and a half ago, I'd say, I think. Actually, yeah, not even, like, a month and 15 days ago, whatever, because only on episode 37. Granted, there's been a few times where I skipped a day between episodes, but still, geez. The support has been absolutely phenomenal, and I appreciate all of y'all. Um, and, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but, yeah, we're almost back to the island. And nighttime is falling. But we got silver, lead, and I don't know my backpack. I think that's the lead. Yeah. It's got that weird bluish tint. Right now, bluish tint, it just is blue. It's like a dark navy blue. Almost like the color of the water. But let's get our boat over here. Um, put this silver in. 
with the lead. And there we go. Hop back in the boat and go back to the island. Nice and efficient. I wonder if the bigger boat goes any faster or how that works. But it'll be a while before we get that big boat, sadly, because it's quite expensive. It's like 175 octillion, I think, because this boat was like 17. So, yeah. But in what, five minutes we made about 10 octillion. So I think by the time we do all of our trips, we'll almost have enough or we'll have enough to purchase the induction smelter. So get these three quests done and then we'll see what else pops up after that. And we'll go from there. Like every time, every single time I start one of these episodes, I don't really have a set goal of what I want to do. It's kind of just going by what happens and you'll see what happens and go off of that, I guess. So no scripts, no nothing, just play the game, see what happens and, you know, adjust accordingly. <laughs> There's like no, uh, what's it called? There's no motor on the boat. There's no like windshield. <laughs> Just a very bare bones boat. I wonder how it uh is getting power if there's no engine on it. Unless it's like a an inboard engine where it's inside the boat. <laughs> I think I'm asking too many questions about a kid's game <laughs> and a basic boat. Do, 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 do. I wonder, there has to be something like, or not something, but I feel like this definitely loops up around to this top area, but I don't know what like would be special up there, probably like a statue or something, but it's probably just more lead and silver ore, but there's plenty down here by the bottom that there's no need to really go up unless you're like mining a boatload, literally, um, of ore, but still, okay, I need to get more silver. It would appear. I'm definitely stacking up more on the lead. Let's do this a few times. But next next trip for sure. We'll be done with the quest. Do 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 in about seven and a half minutes into the episode. Making amazing time. Boats cruising. Got that cool effect, like I said the other day, behind the boat of these little low low polygon uh, effects. It still looks cool. Nice and basic, but still cool looking. <laughs> this water is shallow as heck. I suppose there's even a floor. I wonder if that, like, what's it called? Effects game performance at all, having a floor underneath all the water. Granted, you can't really see it unless you're looking at it but I guess that means you can't fall through the ground like in some games or not the ground the water Cause some games you know when there's water there's nothing underneath it and you can't swim so like the water is just like a it's like a surface you, can, you can't see through but you can go through it so <laughs> it's like a it's like a ghost I guess maybe except it's not a transparent ghost it's a um a ghost you can fully see, but you can just go through it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm just trying to think of something to, to talk about during the boat ride there and back. So it's not just quiet. Like I'm listening to music while I'm riding in the background of the video, but uh, y'all can't hear it. So <laughs> I gotta, gotta talk about other things and make other noise. Do, 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 do. I've also thought about making a Discord, which I'll probably do after this video. I think I'll put it down in the description. Just just to have it. And if y'all want to go in there and chat. Um, it might, it's kind of probably easier than comments like on YouTube. But yeah, I'll probably set that up. Because eventually I'd like to have one if I can just start it now. I feel like that'd be better too. And yeah. Do, 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 do. And I'm pretty sure, I'll probably look at some of the recipes while we're doing this. That you have to combine like Sanctium with Silver. Where is it? You mix like, where, where is that thing? Oh, you mix, yeah, Silver with Sanctium and Lead with the album to make the Devilish and Angelic Ingot. But you need the Alloy Smelter to do that. How much does Alloy Smelter cost? 375 Octillion, that's not too bad. Could be worse. 
like we're making plenty of money I feel like it's not taking too too long to make money and you can definitely like bump up how much you're making quite a bit so yeah that helps a lot around the silly island I'm curious as to what quests are after these. Probably just gonna be buying machines because I think I've mined everything I need to mine. I need to zoom out a bit. Um, silver. I'd like to get more silver than lead if I can. Do 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 do. Pick up all this silver first. If I can, can't reach that, come on, there we go. Um, oh, there we go. I'm getting out, I'm picking this up. Come on, get in the boat, there we go. And time to finish the silver quest as well. Also, I want to fill up my boat with lead as well. No, there we go. We just did. In the backpack with silver. We had to have already had Sanctum Diablium quest, I guess. I think I'm just dumb and wasn't paying attention enough. But I feel like we would have already had to have those at this point. Or maybe they come closer to when we need the alloy smelter. Well, we'll see. I think by the time I get back, I'll have... Um, what's it called? Enough money for the um, induction smelter. And then from there, I don't know which one's better out of these two. What's better, the extruder or the, or the press? Um, looks like the extruder is more or better. It did cost more, so it makes sense, but I just wanted to make sure. I wasn't going, was I even moving that whole time? I didn't even pay attention if I was moving, but that was weird. And then, let's see. Geez, that is expensive for an advanced mine compared to just a regular one. Even these ones are super expensive, geez. I thought you can just, like, look at the, it, like, tells you where it's at. <laughs> like, I, I always forget that. It tells you the locations of all the ores slash farms or whatever like on the description and we can afford the induction furnace or smelter free amberite mine as well um, I also just realized I do not have enough space to transport this all back sadly we have a few things of lead three things of silver and all I guess I'll bring back extra lead goods why not Head back through here and go set up our stuff. I don't have any new mines except for. Did we? We did get Ambernite, but that's it, I think. We did get silver and then lead. Okay, never mind. We did get a bunch of new ones, I forgot. Okay, so I need to place those down without forgetting. Um, oh wow, it's a huge build-up. What's nice though, I think, I think, we're gonna, we're gonna test this theory out. I'm gonna destroy that. Put all the, where did it go, Ember Knight on one side. And then put the silver and lead over here on this side. And then I'm also going to do this. And I'm going to drop these in. If I can. Hopefully. If I can use up a bunch of it. It did. Okay, let's go. That's huge. I need to bring my vehicle over here. I don't know what I need to do. is put a container right there I also need to move everything back I need to just reset this up I don't know why I didn't do this before I'm done 
Actually, I'm extra dumb, but we're gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> um, it's about like right here, the induction smelter. The mixer. I guess I'll... Actually, no, because there's a bunch of things going in from this side. I'll just leave this, like, as is. It'd be cool if I could place these properly. There we go. Basic container. Um, the grinder. I forgot the ore crusher over here. And then... Come on, let me, let me place this stuff down. And then place out everything else. And there we go. And then silver and lead. I'll put the lead first this time. Doesn't matter at all. No effect on performance. And salt crystal mine. I might have to buy a second salt crystal mine. I don't know. I think I'll need one eventually, anyway, so might need to buy one, or probably should buy one. Why is this not putting out any salt shards? What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Um, filter container, maybe? It was facing the right way, right? Why doesn't this... Let me, let me try this. I put one of these in front. Nope. Come on, let me... I think that was it. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, that was it. I want to see why that wasn't... Is it just not like the... Uh, the fact that it's feeding right into a machine, maybe? I think that's, I think that's what's happening. It just doesn't like that for some reason. It's interesting, though. Trying to figure this all out. Also might buy a second salt mine, like I said, just because... To keep up with all the ore I'm getting now. Yeah, this stuff doesn't like the... Some of the... the feeding directly into the new machines it's whatever though um salt crystal mine and then like i said i'll probably just buy another one real quick so yeah i usually don't buy mines this early in the game but we're gonna do it anyways because why not um I might need to do this, this old, this old trick. <laughs> Clear everything up. It was definitely not a trick, it's just... Clearing literally everything up. Cause there's three salt made per... There it was. Okay, yeah it is. It's getting used up. Okay, that's good. So we got that set up. Hopefully that flows a lot smoother now. And then, oops. Drop all this stuff in. <laughs> um, hmm. Might just have to drop this stuff directly off, I think, sadly. I don't feel like remaking my whole setup, but this is making a lot of money, which is very nice. But, yeah, that's... Interesting. Okay, yeah, I gotta get this out. A lot of this double stuff. But yeah, this the salt should definitely build up over time. So I'm gonna wrong button. I'm gonna sell all drops real quick again, just to clear it up and then get it working smoothly. Making small progress, but getting a bunch of quests done, and just gotta save up now, I guess, for. Some of the next things that we need. I'll probably. Hmm. How much? I, I mean, go to the index. I want to go to the store. The press. 
not too expensive. I can get that pretty quickly, I feel like. So, I'm just gonna chill around, wait here for a bit, and then I'll be back whenever uh, it's done. So, yeah. Well, guys, we're back. Um, we have 85 octillion, so we're gonna buy the um, extruder. Bought it, got a free lead mine and a free another 12 octillion. And so we're gonna do with it is we're gonna we're gonna put a little uh, little turn in our setup right here. I don't know if I get, I did not give it enough space. Dang it! Hopefully that's enough space. Yeah, that is okay. We need a left turn. I literally can never remember the direct, correct direction. Jeez. And there's that, and then put a soul zone. Oh, look at all that money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> like Mr. Krabs. And then, oops, before I forget, the lead mine. That should balance out the amount of salt we're producing with the amount of ore we're producing because the salt does kind of still build up pretty quickly. But hopefully we can get rid of that problem. And yeah. We're making plenty of money now. And... What's the next goal? Obviously to buy the press and then I guess get a rolling machine, perhaps, but um I guess I should have brought the press first, but whatever. Um <laughs> uh, it's 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 more money now and eventually we'll get the other things too, so can't really complain I guess. We're gonna need probably need the extruder eventually, especially when making the cosmic glove. But for now, um that's enough progress to our base um didn't do a lot this episode i guess but we did definitely increase our money making by a lot every three items we're making an octillion or just over an octillion so that's very nice and yeah um there we did run into the little machine problem with the boxes not wanting to output directly onto these and so it wasn't optimal at first but we got it all worked out and so yeah um yeah <laughs> don't have anything else to say so um i guess as usual if you could subscribe i'd really appreciate that i appreciate all the support we've had so far um if you could like the video i'd also really appreciate that um, as usual if you have any comments or want to say anything you know put it down in the comments you can talk about it i'm always down to have a discussion i guess i'll start a discord put the link for that down in the description as well and then I will catch you all next time. So peace out.